What you guys got another video is windows defender enough to stay protected in 2023 i get this question quite a bit and some people always ask me about windows defender and whether it's good enough so i thought i'd make a video and give you my opinions on windows defender and some of my options available for you again these opinions are my own there's no massive in-depth testing done it's just literally me showing you and explaining to you uh, what Windows Defender is and how it can protect you. Now, first off, let's take a look at this system here. This system is heavily infected. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll explain uh, some of the things that Windows Defender does uh, great and what it doesn't do very well. So first off, Windows Defender is a bit of a resource hog. It's built into Windows and it can, you know, zap a lot of resources on Windows systems. And this is why people like to disable it or like to remove it completely. And then maybe they might use something else. The other thing is Windows Defender enough to stay protected. If you're just looking for basic cybersecurity protection, then Microsoft's Windows Defender is perfectly fine. Now, I do think that the interface of Windows Defender needs a massive overhaul. It really is clunky and a bit dated and it's not that great but it's free and it's built into windows some of the downsides of windows defender i personally think is the firewall for uh, windows security is pretty pretty lame it's not that great and again the other thing that i don't like about windows defender is it's not that great at protecting against ransomware ransomware is pretty rife right now now windows defender is not as good at protecting you against ransomware as some of the more major third party brands like say Bitdefender, Norton, uh, you know, and uh, say Kaspersky and programs like that, ESET. They're all very good at protecting you. Whereas I think Windows Defender does a pretty good job uh, for something that's built into Windows and free, but it's not just quite there yet. And they are getting better. It's getting closer than ever. Uh, to competing with say third party antiviruses but it's still not good enough and it's certainly not good enough to be compared with antiviruses like some of the major ones out there which I've already just mentioned. Another major problem I found with say Windows Defender is sometimes it's not very good at cleaning up an already infected system. It sort of leaves files behind and it sort of ignores certain infections. You can see it's going through the motions now at detecting certain things and it's removing them from the PC as it's meant to. It's designed to protect you. And normally, uh, if you had Windows Defender on at the very beginning, it should be stopping a lot of this stuff from actually getting onto your computer. Now, I will say Windows 10 and Windows 11 has got a lot better at protecting you against nasty malware and nasty infections out there on the internet that get onto your PC and get you infected. Over the years, I've removed many different types of infections on PCs, and it's been absolutely horrendous, some of them. They've been completely riddled with malware, and sometimes it's the only way is to reformat the system and put Windows back on. But thankfully, Windows 11 and Windows 10 has got a lot better at protecting you. So you have to jump through a bunch of hoops to get malware actually on the system now, whereas it will stop it pretty quickly before it actually can run and get on the system. So bear that in mind, Windows security is pretty good nowadays compared to uh, previous years like Windows 7 and Windows XP. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run a scan to see if it can clean up this system that's got infections on it. It is going through and removing a lot of this stuff. I'm just going to quickly enable all of this because it's been disabled by some malware here. So let me just re-enable a lot of this stuff so we can get some cloud protection here and also uh, tamper protection and a bunch of other stuff like real-time protection. All that is now on and it should be running and start removing a lot of this stuff once I run a full scan on the system. So you do have a couple of options available to you if you don't want to use Windows Defender. The first option would be to use a better free antivirus to replace Microsoft Windows Defender uh, completely. The other option is to uh, use a better protection with premium antivirus software, which is paid software. And uh, again, you would get a lot more better protection because you will get internet security 
uh, suite, which will basically give you a better firewall and better network monitoring and better stuff like that inside their antivirus program where Windows Defender just doesn't have that. Now, some Windows features are missing with uh, Windows Defender, and that is like virtual private networks or VPN. They're coming bundled with antivirus programs now. Identity theft protection is also missing with uh, Windows Defender. Dark web monitoring and anti theft protection, webcam microphone protection, and other things like password managers and other protection like that, where you can get a lot more protection through your browser compared to what you would get with Windows Defender. Now, again, like I said before, Windows Defender will keep you protected to a certain point, a basic security level. So depending on what you're using your computer for and how you use it will determine whether Windows Defender is going to be enough for you. For instance, if you're a light user and you don't click on links and open up attachments and don't install software from the internet all the time, different types of crack software or pirated software, then you should be perfectly fine. But if you're using Windows Defender and you're doing those things, you're probably going to end up getting infected. Now, we'll do a full scan here on this system and we'll just see how much of this nasty stuff, uh, you know, Windows Defender can remove. Now, it can block uh, stuff as well, which I'll show you some of the ransomware that it can block. You can open this up and it will block it instantly. But the problem is sometimes it allows some of them through. And there is quite a few uh, ransomware that it has let through in the past in some of my testing and your data will be encrypted. So bear that in mind. And that is really important because remember, not everyone backs up their data on a regular basis. And if you don't, you're going to end up getting your data encrypted. So as soon as I dropped that on the system, straight away, ransomware was found and it literally stopped it. Now, what you have to remember is there is new variants of this stuff popping up all the time where it might not be in the database and it might not get detected. And this is where you can fall foul to ransomware or other nasty infections out there. You can see it's blocking these no problem at all, instantly stopping you from uh, running it and clicking it. Now, sometimes, you know, uh, Windows Defender has let through uh, ransomware in the past. And there is a few of them that I've done. Uh, Black Claw, I've, it's got through, and uh, Scarab and a bunch of other ones that have actually slipped through the back door and actually run on the system and encrypted all of the data on that computer. So it's not foolproof. But then that could also be said that no antivirus software out there on the market will be 100% protection. I'm pretty sure of it that there will be something that will get through and slip through the net on all of the antivirus programs. It's just the detection rate on how good they really are. And you want to be using the best possible rather than using, say, for instance, something that is not quite as good. You can see it's detecting these types of threats instantly. Now I can run these through the network script and, and put these onto the system and do that if you wish. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a full-blown uh, test of antivirus software, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Now, a problem with a lot of that testing is a lot of the samples that people use on YouTube and show uh, detection rates are very old samples, and they're already in the database of that antivirus program. So of course it's going to detect them because it already knows what it is. But there's a lot of new samples out there which is fresh and they're live and it's very hard to detect those sometimes. And sometimes they can slip through the net and get through and infect that system. They're inventing new ways of bypassing antivirus software all the time. So unless it's in the database, it won't know it's there. Now, a typical example of Windows Defender's weakness, you can see that this sample is still running on the system. It is from China or some Asian country. And you can see here it's happily working away on the system. It is a backdoor uh, sort of Trojan, and it is running here. And it's not deleted or stopped that process yet from running and removed that from my system. And we'll let it run and complete the scan, and we'll see whether it actually finishes. And you can see the scan has now been completed. It's fully finished its scan and uh, it's found 21 threats and it's removed them from the computer. I can guarantee you that there'll be still stuff on that computer still running and still um, on the system. You can see that process is still running here. And that is the point of uh, these fresh samples that you get, which are very difficult to stop and uh, track. 
So what I can do here is I can suspend this and remove this manually if I wanted to. But I want to show you a much more powerful way of doing it with, you know, much more premium uh, antivirus software, which is something like, say, for instance, Kaspersky Rescue Disk or, say, for instance, Norton uh, software, which will remove this as well. And a bunch of other ones out there you can use. And uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly run a test on it. Now, the disk has come back a little bit. It's not running at 100 percent anymore. So it's removed some of those from the system. But if I look inside here, you'll see that there is also that process is still on the system and it is still running right there, as you can see here. So not very good. And uh, this is the sort of stuff you've got to be careful of uh, when you're removing malware. To be 100% sure, really, the only real way is to tell is to completely reinstall Windows and clean it. So let's go ahead and run this tool here, Norton Power Racer. And this will show you the power of using more than one type of tool to remove uh, malware or infections from a computer. Now, for many years, one of my biggest problems with Windows Defender is when you run scans with third party software, as soon as that software detects uh, viruses or infections, Windows Defender will all of a sudden say it's found it as well when it didn't find it before. But all of a sudden, because Norton Eraser has now found something, all of a sudden, uh, Windows Defender has now found it. But yet it let that process still run on the computer, never detected it. And I guarantee you, uh, you know, Norton Power Racer will find that process in there and it will find that malicious file and it will remove it. Whereas Windows Defender just left it running on your computer, which is a backdoor, which allows, uh, you know, people to be able to gain access to the computer. You can see it's now detecting other stuff because Power Racer is finding it on the computer. And there we go, it's found another one. And you'll probably find out that Norton has probably found a few more here. And now all of a sudden, uh, you know, Microsoft Defender is now saying it's found them as well. There you go. So it's now found a bunch of this stuff here. What I'm going to do is quickly remove this and reboot the system. And we will see exactly what we've got left going on here. So it has found quite a few bits on there. So I'm going to quickly restart and fix these now and uh, resolve these issues. Uh, with the system. I'll quickly click on the fix now button and this will then remove some of these nasty stuff from the computer. And again, I can put the check marks in all of this other stuff if I wanted to, and it will remove all of that if I wanted to. Let me just remove these ones with the check marks in first. Just want to see whether it finds uh, that process and removes it. And it's starting to repair these items. And you can see these are a high severity, which means it's a serious infection, and yet Windows Defender just left them on the system. And this is what you have to remember. It's, you know, you've got to be very careful when you're downloading and installing stuff, because if you're one of these people that don't run antivirus software on your PC because it affects uh, your gameplay, then, you know, you're, you're open to getting infected with nasty malware, and you wouldn't even know because you've got no protection on your computer whatsoever. And it will just drop onto the system and start sitting there dormant in the background and running. So you've got to be super careful uh, when running no antivirus whatsoever on your computer, including Windows Defender, if you've disabled it or turned it off or ripped it out of your Windows light build. So let me go ahead and open up Process Explorer here and we'll see if that process has been removed with Norton Power Racer. We'll just open this program up and let us see. Now you can see here already it's starting to find stuff again, and that's because Norton Power Racer has not quite finished removing uh, some of the stuff, and now it's finding them again. And of course, it's because Norton Power Racer has just removed all of those nasty ones for us, where probably Windows Defender couldn't do it because it was too difficult. So this is the thing you have to work out. So let me just quickly have a look at Task Manager here and see if that process has been terminated and removed from this computer and yes it has it's now gone i can see it's now gone there and what we're going to do is open up here process explorer and we can take a look here and hopefully that has now been removed which it has you can see here no infections there now they're all gone and that's the difference between a premium uh, you know antivirus or premium software compared to uh, Windows Defender. Now, Windows Defender does get a pretty good score when you go to some of them AV testing sites. They will give it a maximum score. But remember, some of these uh, sites 
are geared to promote certain software. So be very careful with what you're reading. Now, AV Test is a pretty good site for that sort of stuff, and they do actually rate Windows Defender pretty highly. But again, like I said, if it's not removing stuff and you're getting stuff left behind, then that is not good. Now, Norm Power Racer is not an actual antivirus program. It's just scanning for malicious stuff in the systems files area, and it's going to find those and remove it from the computer. Now, you can do other scans, which I would advise you to do, which is, say, for instance, ESET Online Scanner and other types of scans like that. And there's plenty of other software out there which you can use. If you want to see a full removal guide, let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to make a video for you on how to remove uh, malware and other nasty stuff from a very infected PC. So let's see, ESET Online Scanner here detects something. And there you go, it's detected something. And guess what? Windows Defender also detected it. But we've run a full scan with Windows Defender. It never detected it before. But now all of a sudden, it's detecting it as ESET Online Scanner's finding it. It's amazing. So I'll let that run and let that remove all of that stuff there. And we'll go ahead and uh, remove this and finish off. Now, if you value your security on your PC, then maybe invest in a higher quality internet security software from, say, Kaspersky, Bitdefender, ESET, any of those types of uh, your branded types of internet security software and keep yourself safe. That way, you won't have to worry about a lot of the uh, silly stuff that a Windows Defender sort of leaves behind or misses, and it will give you better ransomware protection compared to say, for instance, Windows Defender. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. It's been a pretty long video. And uh, my name has been Brian for brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been informative and helpful for you. If it has, then give the video a quick thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. I uh, just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.